Iranian communication minister Isa Zarapur says the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, launched the satellite carrier. Iran claimed on Wednesday that its newer three imaging satellite was in orbit after a successful launch, according to the Iranian press and the semi-official Tasnim news agency. The newer three satellite had been put in an orbit 280 miles above the Earth's surface, according to Iran's communication minister Isa Zarapur, as quoted by the Associated Press. Zarapur added that the aerospace arm of Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps IRGC, launched the satellite carrier, which he cited had success in launching satellites from its secret program. The satellite launch vehicle were reportedly Segel 3 fourths IRBMs, with a range of 1,800 to 2,797 miles. The IRGC conducted the launch from its space center in the northeast city of Shard. Western officials have yet to comment on the launch or disputed success, though Iran has had a series of failures in recent years. The US has previously alleged that Iran's satellite launches defy a UN Security Council resolution. As such, Washington has called on Tehran not to undertake activity related to ballistic missiles capable of delivering nuclear weapons. Iran has maintained the position that its satellite launches and rocket tests do not have a military component. It was also reported on Wednesday that the Iranian ambassador to the UN complained to the Security Council over the threat of using nuclear weapons against Iran by the Prime Minister of Israel. However, a threat assessment by the U.S. intelligence community claimed that a satellite launch vehicle also shortens the timeline to an intercontinental ballistic missile for Iran, due to similar technologies. However, Iran's own Tasnim media, which is close to the IRGC, boasted about the fact it is Iran's third military satellite. The report says the imaging satellite was launched with a homegrown satellite carrier, dubbed CAST. Iran previously launched the newer one in April 2020 and the newer two in March 2022. All three satellites have been sent into orbit by the CAST satellite carrier, designed and manufactured by the IRGC Aerospace Force. The launch comes amid several important moves in the region and globally. First of all it comes a day after a mysterious explosion in western Iran. It also comes after reports that Israel and Saudi Arabia continue on a path towards peace. This means that Iran wants to showcase its abilities during a time of transition and diplomatic shifts in the region. Iran has also been holding talks with Turkey about shifts in the Caucasus. In addition, Iran sent key officials to Vienna for a recent meeting of the IAEA. As such, Iran now sits astride important developments in the Middle East and also important developments that link Russia and China to Tehran. Iran's goal is multi-layered. It wants satellite technology for its own pride and its own ends. That means it wants to launch satellites in order to be one of the global space players.
but participating in the space race is not a goal unto itself. Many countries such as the UAE and India are all taking a greater interest in space. Iran wants to have a military capability in space and it wants to use this to improve its missile program. This includes investment in hypersonic weapons that include a missile that might be able to be launched towards space and have a re-entry vehicle travel back to Earth at hypersonic speeds to strike a target. The satellite launch comes amidst revelations about Iran's attempt to influence the West during the lead-up to the 2015 Iran deal. What this illustrates is that Iran has been investing heavily in its space and missile programs, in tandem with the nuclear program. Tehran knows that the Saudis and others do not want to see Iran achieve a nuclear weapon. However, that does not mean Iran will stop enrichment of uranium, only that it will keep one step below the threshold status of testing a weapon. To have a successful nuclear weapons program, Iran needs long-range missiles on which it could put a weapon. Therefore it makes sense for Iran to continue to focus on missile and space technology for now. As such, the satellite's goal is to be in orbit casting a shadow over the Middle East, evidence of another achievement by Tehran and the IRGC.